Hi everyone, it's the day after Christmas and I'm outside. I just uh, went for my walk with my dog and well actually that's not true. I was going to go do the walk with my dog but I could not make it up my driveway and that's because we got um, ice on the, the day before Christmas. We got uh, some snow and ice. So this is my backyard. You can see it's just a dusting of snow, um, but it all, is all iced up. But like I said before, a dusting of snow will c close Portland, Oregon down. We don't have any snow trucks. They don't really do anything with the roads if they ice over. They don't put like um, salt on it. They don't use any salt here at all. So that means I'm kind of worried about being stuck inside for a few days because that's what happens. Nothing, when it gets this bad, um, the ice and the, and the snow falls and it never gets cleared. Um, and I am a person that um, doesn't have a car here, so I use public transportation, which is excellent here. We have a really good train system and we have a good bus system and you can walk like I don't have to take that I can walk everywhere like it everything's kind of set up where you have a neighborhood and then you have shops and whatever you need grocery stores um, in that neighborhood but anyway I'm not going to be going anywhere today so I'm kind of disappointed about that I thought maybe I'd try really hard to get out but it's just too icy and it's just too dangerous for me or anyone um, with Parkinson's because we fall a lot. I think about falling a lot more than I ever did and I get very anxious about it. Um, yeah, and it's something I do notice because I'm pretty much, you know, at the age where Usually, you would not have to worry about falling. Yeah, so anyway, this is just my, um, what is it, my trekking pole that I try to walk with so I get some traction and with the ice, something to support my body. But, yeah, this is my driveway. It's a double lot. And, um, I don't know if you can notice, but it does slant upwards. So it's very hard to get traction when it's totally iced like this or, or has some s snow. So yeah, like I keep repeating myself, I'm really bummed out because I, I thought, oh, maybe I can still like try and get up it and that the roads won't be that icy, but it looks like they really are. Look at this, it's like an ice ring. So, uh, I'm going to have to figure out what to do at home today. One thing I know I have to do is exercise. Um, we're getting more freezing rain tomorrow morning too, or tonight I think. Um, and that means that there's a good possibility that I'll be stuck inside for like three, three days at least. Like, oh, maybe if I'm lucky two days, but... Um, if we get freezing rain on top of this, and it's really cold now, so this is not going to melt today. That's going to be a bad, bad situation. I'll be lucky to get out of here on Thursday or Friday. So, I might make some more videos. The only problem is, it sounds productive, but it takes a lot of energy to make a video, so... I doubt I can make more than like one video and then sometimes I can like take that one video and chop it into different segments. So I'll try and do that. I'm gonna walk. This I might fall here, but at least it's it's like grass underneath.
So I hope everyone had a nice Christmas. I did end up going to my friend's family um, house. So I did get to spend a nice Christmas day. I was kind of worried that they wouldn't be able to um, come and get me, but they're pretty good drivers. Not a lot of people here are used to driving with the uh, ice and the snow. I'm looking over at the highway and the actual freeway and highway looks fine. So it's all the side streets that seem like they're the problem. I look at this, my, my flowers that were still flowering are all frozen. <laughs> they look like they're frozen in a sh <laughs> in like a in ice like a fancy um, fancy okay what do you call those things ice cubes <laughs> the tree looks pretty too I don't have to really see the branches So I'm not gonna go, this is like the back of this property that, um, that's like the highway. That, those are like uh, train rails and then all the stuff, this goes all the way down. You're not gonna be able to see, but it goes, it's like a big dip that goes down. And that's what, um, well, it's called the gulch, but um, actually it's kind of like buffer land. So there's nothing there. However, there are like homeless camps. We have a big homeless problem in, in uh, Portland. It keeps growing every year. Okay, so I'm gonna show you down there, but I don't really see yeah, usually, um, I don't know if you can see like that white top, but usually you can see some homeless there. It looks like they didn't sleep out there. It's just, it was just too cold, it was like freezing, so maybe they went into a shelter. But um, I used to have coyotes, like a lot of coyotes that used to come up here and come in straight into my yard. Like I've seen like three of them. And, um, they were like really tame. Like they wouldn't just, they would see me and they wouldn't run away at all. And they would come right up to like the patio. But now I never see any. I think it's because like when they used to come, there was no humans down there. And now there is, they stay away from, from the land. I'm also checking like what I can feed my rabbit. I have like enough food for two days. Um, well, let me uh, let me restate that. Oh, look at the sun! It is sunny out here, which is nice. It's usually dark. I have enough pellets. I have plenty of his pellets, and he loves the pellets. But they're not so good to feed too many pellets because they have a lot of like sugar in them and I don't know what else is in them, but they're not the greatest. Although rabbits really like that. I have plenty of straw. I have enough straw to last, well, it's really hay, to last like um, maybe a month. And they're mostly supposed to eat hay, like 80% of their diet is supposed to be hay. But what I don't have is like the 20% of his diet, which is, um, which for her is like, like salad greens. So, yeah, I got two days worth. So I'm looking to see what else she can eat. I mean, usually in the summertime, I just give her fresh things out of the garden.